My name is Cameron, I'm age eight and I was born with a heart condition. Before Cameron was born, we didn't know there was anything wrong with his heart. Whilst I was in labour, they picked up that his heart was skipping beats. And after he was born, when a paediatrician checked him, they said that he, they could hear um, a murmur. He was born on the Sunday and on the Monday um, he wouldn't settle for me so I left him with the midwife who said oh we'll they would look after him try, so I could try and get some rest. But unfortunately he um, collapsed and went blue and got rushed to the special care baby unit. A team from Leeds came over to collect him um, and he was transferred through to Leeds General Infirmary where he was diagnosed with aortic stenosis. His valve was fused shut. At four days old they were able to get him stable enough to do a balloon valvoscopy that basically tore his valve open. When I was a baby I had a heart operation then I had to go back at the age of four and um, I, they had to give me a zip which was very painful. Cameron, after having his first operation as a baby, he's been on three monthly follow-ups because eventually they'll give him a replacement valve but they want to leave it as long as possible because it won't grow with him. Just before Cameron turned four, we were told he developed a um, condition called subaortic stenosis tissue was growing underneath the valve, so he had to have his first lot of open heart surgery. He had his operation on the 25th of October and was in surgery for five and a half hours, which was awful as a parent. It's the worst experience I've ever been through. When he came, came out of surgery and we were able to see him, it was the best feeling ever, thinking that, you know, that we got, it got him back. His recovery was really quick. We were in, only in hospital for six days when he, he was allowed home. He continues to have regular checkups every three months because unfortunately this, the tissue, the substenosis has come back and eventually they are going to give him a replacement valve so it's currently been seen every three months but if you, you know, when you meet him, the thing he's able to do quite a lot. He's been allowed to start playing football which he absolutely loves, loves riding his bike and doing everything that his friends do. Although Cameron continues to do really well and just amazes us what, he, what he's achieved, um, it's still a worry the fact that he needs more surgery and it just that never quite goes away. Although you, tr you try to put it to the back of your mind and I think for us the difficulty is it's, we want him to be able to do as much as he can. I don't want him to grow up thinking that we've stopped him doing things so we try and let him do as much as he can and the good thing is now he's a bit older he's learning his limitations so when he's playing football he will sub himself if he gets tired. I like playing football and I love playing on my PlayStation 3. I win on FIFA against my dad a lot. I'm glad I said that. Because he is going to need more surgery in the future but it's it doesn't stop him. He's never let it stop him. He's very determined and he has a go at, go at everything.